brothers and sisters in the risen lord we are in the period of christmas and tonight we are going to have christmas night silent night the theme of today's 24th sunday would be do not be afraid what are the most frequent assurance in scripture is one you just heard from matthew do not be afraid is dars the word and new testaments before making a covenant with the moses the lord tells him do not be afraid gabriel tells a terrified daniel do not be afraid an angel tells the father of john the baptist zacharia do not be afraid gabriel said to mary troubled at being told she is to have a child do not be afraid she was startled by the christmas glory that shone around them were told by the angels do not be afraid jesus tells peter fearful at an amazing net breaking catch of fish and the disciples thinking the that was ghost walking on the water do not be afraid then to the disciples of this transfiguration and mary magdalene at the empty tomb do not be afraid and so today an angel assuring joseph do not be afraid do not be afraid to take mary as your wife for the child conceived in her is from the holy spirit what does this say to you and me do not be afraid what does it mean it is not a blanket prohibition as if fear were jewish or christian tradition contradiction at times we have good reason to be afraid when you lose your job after many years with the same company in some of our cities people are afraid because of guns coke and crack or the kings in the street people are afraid when they have no access to health care health insurance when they are hungry or homeless people are afraid when they are addicted to drugs alcohol or afflicted with cancer or other serious illness people are afraid when they are young and vulnerable elderly and lonely middle aged and unhappy with their life was not jesus afraid in the garden of his agony when he begged his father impossible not to let him die how do we understand the lords do not be afraid what is the possible sign of the coin isaiah gives a, a clue the lord will give you a sign a woman is with a child and shall bear a son and shall name him emmanuel which means god is with us not simply everywhere as god must be but with us in a unique way as never before here is god in our flesh and blood god walking as we walk hungry as we hunger tired as we are tired god healing human illness with a touch yesterday courage into hopeless hearts and yet this god would be betrayed with a kiss lashed with the bits 
crown of the calm thoughts nailed to a cross raising and ascending to the father yet remaining with us in the sacrament of the altar so what does this say to fear it tells us that god is not only in his heaven but with us to save us this is what the name jesus means remember the gospel you are to name him jesus for he will save his people not only save us from sin but also from fear neither god nor god's angels are playing with the psychiatrics when they say do not be afraid the gospel are not at the minico therapy in dissolving fear there has to be a certain amount of fear in life fear of going through a red light fear of letting a baby drive the car the gospel is concerned over those fears that paralyze me and destroy my oneness with the god the fear that keeps me from trusting in god the way that god tested himself to us he tested himself to a teenage mother and a foster father he tested himself to 12 friends he tested himself to a people of his own creation who crucified him and he still tests himself to us as he comes to us resting in our hands all on our thanks just ask him to be allowed into our hearts into into our lives what we have at christmas is terrible desire on god's part to be with us to be part of us to be part of our human condition to be part of our losses our recessions and disappointed disappointed and fractured relationship to be part of the death that we have experienced this year not only the death of your loved one but all those lesser forms of death lovelessness and loneliness christmas is not an end to all fear but it should be the beginning of a fresh love fresh love for god who became what we are so that we might become more like him this prayer try to see in the christmas tree a challenge an assurance a challenge to love someone as the child loved terribly vulnerable but always arms outstretched try to feel the assurance of immanuel god with us christmas does not automatically cast out fear go to mass care like crazy kneel at the manger and fear will evaporate all the problems disappear that may or may not happen but being at mass receiving your lord kneeling at the grave grief should let you know should let you feel that god is with you god loving god caring so do not be afraid for unto you is born a savior and his name shall be emmanuel which means god with us tostov sky the roman russian writer once wrote love is a harsh and dreadful thing harsh is being born in a stable and dreadful is dying on a cross with the holes in your body this christmas kneel at the crib but then look up at the cross and think to yourself all oh, this is for me do not be afraid jesus is born in the manger is meant for us to be with me to dwell with me in my heart for this reason let us pray to the lord for the grace so that jesus would take a rebirth in our hearts may god bless you all amen